All right, I wanted to make a video about greens and how they complement each other when they're actually eaten together. Not always at the same time, but it's best if they're eaten actually together and not like mono meal style or whatever. That would never happen. Like out in nature, we would never be if we were like natural beings or whatever, or goats <laughs> or monkeys. We would never be eating just one green over and over and over. We would eat them, we would eat a mix because that's what there would be, right? And why not? If there are different things growing together, why not eat them together? So, first of all, let's take spinach, okay? If you eat your spinach with something like collard, the calcium in the collard is going to help absorb the oxalate in the spinach, okay? Maybe not all of it, but it's gonna absorb some of it. Another little trick sometimes what I do is I'll put calcium in my smoothie, like calcium carbonate. If, if you have trouble with oxalate, mix your oxalate with calcium. That will bind up the oxalate. So that's how these two greens together can help kind of neutralize the bad guys. And then the colored has goitrogens. So you don't want to forget your sea vegetables, okay? Your iodine. Upping that iodine is going to balance out the goitrogens. So now you've just kind of canceled out the bad things in each of those greens. And now you can just, you know, enjoy your greens, basically. Some people are still going to have issues. I still am cautious about oxalates because I have had issues before. So if you are, if you do have issues with oxalate, definitely like add a bit more calcium to your smoothie or just don't eat them. But another thing is like lettuce. Lettuce doesn't have to be canceled out. Lettuce is like, I love lettuce. I think it's like one of the best greens you can eat. It's neutral. You've got no anti-nutrients really. I think um, I looked it up once and very little, right? There's maybe a little bit of something at the in that sap that white sap that comes out of it now it's I, i'm lost uh, as to what it was but it was it was like a, um, a stimulant or something something like that an opi opioid or something in that sap and then there was something else but they were ugh, minor you know i've never had an issue eating lettuce so lettuce doesn't really have to be combined but it's good to combine just in terms of nutrients you know get a wide variety but i just wanted to show people how combining greens can actually make them stronger and you want them in the same meal combined not like i remember reading victoria butenko's green for life or whatever and she suggested um rotating your greens and rotating is good in terms of nutrients but not necessarily in terms of canceling out anti-nutrients so eating them together is how you could potentially do that instead of cooking them if you like to eat them raw that's a way to get all your nutrients from the greens and cancel out the bad guys